Hey everybody, welcome to Go Ask Dad. So um, this is our first um, episode. I want to show you guys one of my favorite apps. It enables me to um, really save money uh, in form of gift cards to go towards those emergency groceries, um, you know, last second toiletries that you forgot to put on the list and then you want to got a tank of gas and now you're wondering how you're going to get toilet paper. Uh, you, can, you can save it up, get a $100 gift card over a couple months um, for your kid's upcoming birthday. Um, it's an app called Shopkin. Now, um, some people, when they first hear it, it sounds too good to be true. The reason we do is uh, there's multiple ways to earn points on this app, and you can uh, redeem those points into um, a form of a gift card to a number of uh, retailers. Uh, these gift cards come in $2, $5, $15, uh, $25, 50 and 100 denominations, or as far as a good gift, gift card form. Now, what do the companies get out of it? What they get is get you to go into the stores. Um, let's say, you, for instance, um, you can get points for scanning um, your PC codes. Uh, you can get points for submitting pictures of your receipt that shows that you bought an item. Um, and you can get uh, points for walking into a store. You get 50 points just for walking into Best Buy. Best Buy is a store that I never really walk into, but just getting me in that door and walking around the aisles, the retailers know there's a better chance of me buying something if I never stepped foot in that in that store at all. Um, and sometimes, you know, if I get 170 points for buying a can of beans, that's maybe a can of beans I wouldn't have bought ever in the first place, or maybe I would have bought some other item instead, but now they got me buying that item. So that's their incentive. They're able to, um, you know, kind of push us into buying, you know, one or two items maybe we wouldn't normally buy in our grocery shopping routine, or maybe go into a store we routinely wouldn't, you know. Um, but all right, so let's go take a look. Um, well, I just, we were just at Target. I'm gonna show you a little bit of footage we did in there. And we're now outside Walmart. Um, Walmart's one of the biggest point earners in there. You can probably get about uh, 400 points in one visit. If you go back a couple times, you're talking about maybe 900, 1,000 points in a week. You know, depending on how often you do it just when you're grocery shopping, which is already there. Or um, you're trying to kill time before, a, you know, a movie starts at a local movie theater. Or you can just pop on by because it's close to your work and, you, you know, you got off early today, you know what I'm going to do. But, all right, we'll go in there and take a look. Um, and then, um, also, I'm going to show you some of the other features in it and some other ways to earn points. Um, just kind of choose your own adventure. You can do the bare minimum and just get um, casual points over time and use that uh, towards your next grocery shopping trip. Or you could um, do it with a purpose and say, your kid's birthday is coming in two months. They want a big play set. Uh, maybe things are a little tight, you don't have that extra $80, $100 for that giant tiny T-Rex or that play set, but um, you're like, okay, let's see how much of these uh, shop kick points we're going to earn in the next three months. All right, so let's go take a look, see you inside. All right, so this app is going to either require data, so hopefully you have unlimited data, or if you're like me, don't have unlimited data, um, you need Wi-Fi. Most stores these days have free Wi-Fi, so you just got to get close enough to the store to get that Wi-Fi kicking. Um, so mine should connect pretty soon. Uh, we're going to go list Walmart. Occasionally you will have a walk-in points. I think I already got mine for, yep, I already reached mine for uh, this. So I can't get any more walk-in points from Walmart for two weeks. But as we can see right here, um, Wi-Fi should be connecting soon. We're going to walk into the Walmart, which has 345 points like it's Canada. Okay. Um, if I were to buy every single item, I scan, you're looking at 15,000 points right there. <laughs> Nobody does that. Unless you really, that'd be really crazy. You really need all those items. But let's take a look at the items that Walmart uh, has this week. Uh, some of these items I've already scanned on previous visits. So we got beauty and personal care items, we got breakfast and snack items, electronics, healthcare, coffee, tea, and beverages, baby products, household supplies dairy and eggs and it goes on now if you're stopping by if you live you know across from a you know down the street from walmart when you come in here multiple times uh after the first couple of visits that week you literally know where every item is you can you know do a little circuit and you can pop in there scan everything on that list get that 300 points and then bam get back in your car you can do all in like five minutes you know um sometimes if you're buying a couple of those items Good to go. If you're already buying, if you already get, if you already need some um, some cat litter, bam, 
why don't you just get that brand this week? You know, it's only 20 points to scan, but if you buy that lightweight, tidy cast lightweight litter and set, submit that receipt, you got $450, 450 points right there. Uh, real quick, let's take a look. I actually have, I actually just redeemed a $5 gift card from Walmart uh, not too long ago, but now I'm actually trying to save up for my uh, son's birthday. So here are some the different um, gift card options you can, where you can save your save your points for. We'll go ahead and scroll through these. These are all the stores that you can earn gift cards for. All right, and it is a legit site. I've redeemed cards at Starbucks, Target, and Walmart multiple times. Now, it does take a little patience not to spend those points sometimes. Alright, so let's look at this Walmart gift card. This is the one I'm shooting for. If you just earned 500 kicks or points, $2 gift card. Okay? And you saw right here, um, Walmart right now has, you can earn 340 points today just by walking around the store. So you can, you know, within one visit, earn a $2 gift card. But, you know, let's shoot higher. All right, so for let's see my head for 1,200 kicks, you can get five dollar gift card. So I'm close to that. But like I said, I have um, a goal on mine. I'm actually have, you know, like I said, I'm actually trying to save it for a particular uh, toy for my friend's birthday. So uh, for 6,200 kicks, you can get a 25 dollar gift card. And if you want a 50 dollar Walmart gift card, 12,000 kicks. Now you saw, if I were, if it just so happened everything on to the scan list I needed, I could get that today. But I'm not, that's not the case. So I'm going to keep it there for now. That way I kind of watch where I go and I bump it up as I need to. But you know, it kind of shows you. See, I actually earned it just now. Just now I earned it from, I was at Best Buy before I went earlier to after I dropped my son off, I went to Best Buy and I scanned some stuff. So, this is good, actually good. So, see that uh, we earned that $5 gift card. Do I want that gift card? No. Like I said, I'm waiting. Change your words. I do you want to do that? But I want. Let's see if I can remember. Okay, see, I don't want the $5 gift card. I want to shoot it for the $25 gift card. So, I'm going to go back, and now it has adjusted what my, what my goal is, uh, my progress. I am, I need 6,200 more kicks in order to get that 20 dollars gift card. That's what my goal is. Um, Come along with me as we'll get some points, or some kicks. So, opening it up, items, and... See what we got going on here. Look, in the right way. This way, you kind of plan the layout of how you want to take your walk. For the most part, I get all the gift. I already scanned all the magazines at an earlier visit. Sometimes they reload in the middle of the week. Sometimes they don't. That's why you get this multiple points or kicks from the same store in one week before it has different items. But I know from the layout of the store, and it kind of helps to know the layout of the store you're in, that I'm about to hit up the baby food area, which is right next to the cleaning stuff. So, let's scan the baby food, and we'll hop on over to the cleaning supplies. This organic baby formula. Right here. Alright, now that we scan that, let's go to the household supplies, which are just pretty much right behind me. I went to Swiffer Jet. And we'll look right here. I think need a little help, so cleaning tools and products. 
should be along here. Um, this is gonna give me 15 points when I scan it. Let's say, hey, I got a dog, and that wouldn't be too bad to buy. I'll go ahead and pick that up, and when I re when I submit a receipt, I'll make 750 kicks right there. But also, let's say you kind of want a bigger picture of the item. When you click scan, there's actually on the very lower left corner, I can enlarge that, and it gives me a better idea. I can see that better. I can see right here. I got an item. Looks like my Bam. Alright. Oh, by the way, if any of you have used this app before, why don't you comment below and say what you thought of it. Um, also, if there's any app, if you guys have any suggestions for other kind of um, cool shopping apps or savings apps, which if you are legit and actually have um, saved you guys you know, a considerable amount of money, let us also comment that below and maybe we can check those out in the future. All right, so we're looking for Greek God, Yo Greek yogurt. Let's see right here. Got a barcode, so we'll go ahead and scan it. Now this is where I'm going to say bye temporarily to you guys. You guys actually, this is the aisle that I feel the most uncomfortable with. When it's time to scan these items, sometimes, unless it's, this was 35 ticks, so I went ahead and ventured down here. But usually, there's only like five or 10 points or something, I just skip it. Okay, so sometimes uh, you go into stores, you're shop kicking, and you, you, everybody's going to the same stores, you're scanning the same stuff. And every now and then you go to a shelf and you already see the a product that you're about to scan facing barcode out instead of out. Um, sometimes we see that enough times at the store, it's kind of fun. Um, it means so many probably are already there shop kicking. So sometimes when I'm scanning something, I'll go ahead and leave it with the barcode out as a little shout out to anybody else shop kicking. So if there's a time where they're out of an item, let's say you were trying to like that this brand of wine was out. Um, you can actually scan the barcodes on the tag, so please don't ask the um, the store associates to go to the back and especially if it's, especially if they're busy or they're and it's on, on a weekend or a busy shopping day to dig something out that you do have no intention on buying. You can scan the tag that's on the shelf. Um, you know, another tip is uh, sometimes if it's a really brand new item they may not just not have it yet so uh, just uh, uh, be thoughtful of the people that the places you're working all right well that's it uh, back home uh, we earned about 800 kicks today so we're at about 1800 kicks in a week over the week and a half so my goal to get that 6,000 6,500 kicks by um, you know by April in order to get that uh, gift for my son's birthday that I might actually be able to achieve that before a month, you know, before actually next month, before April's even over, you might, you know, um, but yeah, so that's it, thanks for joining me today, guys, for like the first, um, edition of, first edition, that's where I'm at, the first edition of Glass Dad, um, if you have any recommendations or suggestions, please, in the comment section, also, if you could please hit subscribe, I don't know what side, button will be on, but please hit that, and we support our channel, um, we will have plenty of content coming, um, thanks again for joining us.